Next one. All VTubers get called hags, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's it's a meme. Oh, we got some salamanders. Oh no, just for fun. <laughs> They're like, I was like, that's so loud, ah! They're like, oh, it's very quiet, very quiet. Not very loud at all. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. The bits. Is he just taking a nap on a new <laughs> bill? Oh, hi! Hi, Katosakarius! Oh, that hurt my ears. Oh. It looks like he has a shovel. They're finding all- <laughs> They found all the stuff, they're so happy. <gasps> Don't rob any banks. Please Congratulations, don't. <laughs> my friends. Yeah. The power of friendship. Yay. You found all the artifacts. Friendship. And now I have returned to bring peace and friendship to the entire Imperium. No matter what the voices in my head say. You are weak, Vulcan. <laughs> yeah. Shut your nut face, Spring Ghost <laughs> Ferris. You are not friend. Yes. 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 Or a best force, father. Yay! Yay! The death of the sun. Fire and flame. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, one true gamer for the bits. <laughs> oh, th uh, thank you for the bits. I saw a lot of bits. <laughs> Quick, hide the Eldar orphanages. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's so bad. Ah! <laughs> Hello, my lord. Good. My Hello. sentient newspaper has arrived. <laughs> um... This you is so good. I've lost track of them. You lost track of a 12 foot tall demon man as bright red as a dying star. Mm. That is truly a great achievement. It is. I know where he is, however. He is busy yeah. writing up the first volume of my soon to be smash hit book, The nice. Emperor's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> I love it. I was worried you'd be off sacrificing children or something. Yeah, uh, never mind. We have just received a message from the Ultramarines. Let me guess. It is I, Cantor Sicadius. They managed to do it. They found the missing artifacts of Vulcan. Wonderful. That is thoroughly inconceivable. Yep. So the relics that the Salamanders have been trying to track down for millennia were found by the Ultramarines in less than a year. Indeed. I did tell you earlier, my lord, they are pretty great. Almost too great. <laughs> Actually, not almost, just forthright ridiculously great. I mean, seriously. What exactly makes those baby <laughs> blue ball busters greater than the gecko? It's their author. The it's literally Marines. their author. Well, my lord, I'm honestly not sure. I do have a few theories, though. One is that the Ultramarines are simply more versatile. Eh. As proven in their combat techniques, they're skilled at using a wide variety of weaponry and tactics. While the Salamanders are just about as focused on Pyromania <laughs> as the Sisters of Battle are. Same. Same. <laughs> Hold up. I must have forgotten, in my infinite wisdom, about some religious order during the Purge of Terra. These sisters of battle yo speak of strike me as not being full of muscle-bound battle buddies with exclusively <laughs> floppy reproductive Oh organs. gosh. What precisely are these sisters? <laughs> well, do you remember the lady called Alicia Dominique? Yeah, I remember she the came in and she was like, Oh, Emperor! My non-existent genitalia are still trembling in uncertainty. Essentially, it's an organization of people like her. They're the military arm of the Adeptus Sororitas, which you yourself talked about during the latest answer session. You know, the ones you sent out your erogenous finances. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> That scarcely sounds so grievous after all. 
Seeing as they eliminated that person with the most evil sounding name I have ever heard, I yes. am most certain they are sensible and rational. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty. Uh, sensible they're... and rational. Yes, those are. They're they're just words. They're just words. <laughs> words. Words. Perhaps I can use them for destructive purposes. <gasps> if someone would try to prank call me in the future for unspecified oh. reasons. I will be most happy to hear about them later. <laughs> Back to the topic. Any other ideas about why the ultra Ultramicroinists are doing the heavier work? Well, my second theory, while it may be subjective, is that I'm fairly sure blue is generally a better color than green. Oh. You know how orcs lose most of the time? Maybe there is a connection. First oh. Off, that is fucking stupid. That's kind of funny, that though. exists makes every other color equally inferior. That is true, Secondly, though. Mm -hmm. Before you go on complaining about the salamander scheme, you should see their original paint job. Oh! Uh, yeah, it did that does not, not look well really good. Mechanicus because of how many seizures the paint job <laughs> prompted, so they went fuck it and slapped a plain coat of green over Yeah, the honestly, I can't blame them for Can that. To my third point while still speaking about colors. The salamander. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Skill issue paint job? I mean, could it be worse than the Lamenters? I've heard theirs really sucks. <laughs> Regular civilians and whatnot more worried because they are all black. What? Their skin color is black, my lord. They look very unnatural. You knew this. He knew this. That statement would be so damn hysterical if it did not make me cry tears of pure disappointment from my oh. skull. What do you mean, my lord? Oh. <laughs> Yo. And oh. by extension, most likely the rest of the Imperium have gone back to the ideals of ancient times, when people bounced around and inanely judged each other's characters solely upon the hue of their epidermis. Don't do that! What? What? This is exactly why regular humans cannot yeah. be left unchecked for a single fucking second before they start <laughs> blaming and belaming each other. I keep on trying to make humanity function on its own. But it just will not stop. Oh my lord, I think Actually, you... I am going to act like a brain dead fucking mortal now to <laughs> Oh boy. I have not seen what sort of coloration yo have underneath that golden mirror yo call a suit of armor in over ten thousand years. Let me see what kind of pigment your corporeal container has, and I will figuratively pour acid salt all over it. Wait, I am so confused, my lord. Hmm. I'm not Are we gonna Wait, see the inside, inside of his armor? Wow. I'm, um, I'm impressed. I, I am impressed. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What the fuck? Ow. My lord, what was, was that really necessary? You're black. But you are shit-talking other blacks. I am confused. Black? No, I'm not. Yes, you fucking are. Have yo been in that shimmering shell of yours for so long that yo forgot yo had something under it? Gold is not a skin color, unfortunately. No, I'd call it, uh, like, brownish. I don't know, it's just some standard skin color, not black like the salamanders. Then what in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, my lord, I mean, uh, you know, the salamanders all have a literally pitch black exterior with almost coal-like skin texture and red glowing eyes. It's like they are bathing in burning promethium on a daily basis. What are you even on about, Goldilocks? I am honestly surprised you don't I... know about this, my lord. I'm certain the salamanders have always looked like that. Your memory must be distorted from all the smooth, lubricated skin you I have can't. consistently been- I can't, like, oh my gosh. I can't look at him. There's too much. It's too much. Like, the other ones, it's like, comically. It's, it's, it's comically. Like, I'm like, oh, ha, ha, ha. They're just being, like... The others, it's like, well, I... Like it's a, like it's like oh yeah that's a joke they're just being cringy but like it I can't I cannot I I cannot keep looking at him <laughs> oh my gosh I got I can't look at him been exposed to oh. for these past ten thousand years your mind has started fantasizing about big exotic 
crust-covered menta come and take you away to the lands of a thousand volcano cannons exploding in your face. That might be true, but it does not affect my argument. Look, mm -hmm. you can see it here. By Terrestis, that is new. I do not remember this being a thing. Is my mind playing tricks on me? Maybe. Knowing the state of my memory, perhaps I you did probably forget. did forget. Now yeah. I just feel like some kind of huge dick. I feel that your heart is in the right place, but you can't be blamed for your degraded memory of things. I yes, can't. that is correct. As <sighs> you know, I am always in the right. So, uh, can I have my armor back? I fear the please put it back on him. Please, please, please. You you have been... Dang it, I don't want to stop here. Stop uh, patting my chest like uh, a uh, uh, You are such a fragile little butterflower, uh, aren't you? No, he's not. He's not. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I could not anymore. I was like, the Emperor's been yelling at the other ones to put on their clothes, and he actively took kittens off. Oh my. Oh. Uh. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. No, he is not my... my no, no. <sighs> what the heck? I can't unsee this now. Please. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. I am having that moment where I accidentally find my sibling's thirst trap. Yep. Yep, I'm okay. I'm fine. I just, um... That was a whole lot all that once and I couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh, I need to... Uh, no. No. Enlighten me. What in the shaticular showboat actually happened to the salamanders? I'm so to make surprised. Them like this, I am positive. I'm so surprised the Fab Stodies did not like. Did, like, I'm surprised they didn't show up and be like, "Oh, like, oh, like, oh, wow, kitten, you've really come into your own." <laughs> and I meant the pun on purpose. Oh my gosh. I have some spare eye bleach. Need some? Yeah, send it. Send it, please. Oh my gosh. At least Vulcan had flesh oh, similar I can't words. unsee that. As bad as my memory is, <laughs> I should be right oh, about no. that at least. I mean, I am his fucking I've been father, clipped, after oh all. no. I'm fairly certain all salamanders, including Vulcan, have always looked like that, my lord. I am murderously sure I- Oh, kudos to the person who just started to follow me now. <laughs> after that ordeal? Thank you. I am amazed that someone wanted to follow me right after that. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> you are a brave soul, or you have some thoughts on what my content is going to be like. <laughs> I gave all my children natural human pigments. Oh no. <laughs> Why would I ever decide to treat one of my infant sons to a And this is when all my people talk. join. I am unsure. My analytics are going to be so off. They're going to be like, wow, a lot of people joined at this moment in your stream. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I know exactly what happened. Shut up and explain. <laughs> well, uh, I believe their people was actually affected oh. over time by the whole world of Nocturne. Their gene seed does occur yes. in reaction to the radiation upon the planet, which includes <sighs> all Salamander's jet black, also shifting their eyes to a fiery red. No, that is just fucking stupid. Why would the one chapter that happened to have people of black pigment as a majority end up turning into vituperative fucking caricatures of their past selves? Must be. That shit's quid sin children. <laughs> the blood angels, human wings, and yes. the face wolves, the wrinkly faces of pugs, <laughs> all according to my I imagine space wolves having pug faces. That's so funny. Flustered? No, I would never be flustered. Not about this. Um, my lord, <laughs> I have to ask. Do their appearance really matter if they are still loyal and excel as a chapter? Yes. I mean, no. I mean... Screw this quandary with a fucking <laughs> jackhammer. Let us just talk about whatever we were discussing before this shitstorm started flailing about the room. Good there question. Enough, as I was about to say, another difference between the Ultramarines and the Salamanders are that, while the Salamanders follow the Codex Astartes, they also follow a set of their own doctrines exclusive mm, okay. to the Oh, brilliance. More rules I have not been told about. First off, the Salamanders are very self-reliant and individual for being Astartes. Each Salamander is taught how to repair and improve his own war gear, effectively making them all blacksmiths. No pun intended. Thanks to this, the Salamanders have a lot of mastercraft weaponry and armor in comparison to other Astartes chapters. This is a useful trait we combined with their lace and pyromania. T O E S T Y Y Y Hilda. Toasty! Speaking of which, just to establish their tactical prowess, 
Several millennia ago, the Salamanders decided to fill an entire city with Promethean to destroy a dwarf invasion. The good news is that it worked. The fire even eradicated all orc spores, stopping any chance of the horde re 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 The bad news is, well, they lit a city on fire. Well, that is okay. Also, in the case of super heavy vehicles, they primarily tend to use the Land Ray Redeemer, which is basically two gargantuan flamers in the shape of a tank. As great yeah. as that sounds. It also sounds incredibly <laughs> unconventional. Very... Not to mention, they also literally wear fire on their armor. Time out. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. For fuck's sake, do they have a who can't stay on fire the longest contest and <laughs> well, or what? Well, maybe not that. But an ancient ritual amongst the Salamanders is that when one of their battle brothers grows too old, is dishonored, or is crippled and unable to fight, they will undergo a ceremony which involves them walking out into the fiery desert. Oh, that's hardcore. Oh. Waves. What the fuck? Another Whoa. one of their customs is that when a salamander actually dies, their body will be cremated in ritualistic fashion in the flames of a giant volcano called Mount Deathfire. Is the Say Space Marine Chapter or a death metal band? If they do not manage to get the fallen Astartes back to Nocturne to be cremated, his battle brothers perform a local cremation ritual in which they light the seas on fire and then all stick oh. their arms into the flames. Uh, now I'm starting to um, feel uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not that much of a pyro. I'm not that much of a pyro. Yo, you're telling me not to think too much about this this whole episode. We're almost partway through, and I'm still worried. I'm so worried. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh. Oh. When a captain of the Salamanders dies, a grand ceremony is initiated when they strap the dead captain to a giant slab of ceramite coated marble. Two battle okay. brothers dressed in simple robes then proceed to lower the slab and the captain into a pool of lava. The battle oh. brothers chosen to do this would have their own hands scalded with the white hot chains that suspended the slab as they lowered it down. They have to do it in wow. perfect unison as the chains are engraved with the Salamander's iconography, making the battle brothers' hands have permanent third degree burns with the semblance of a hammer, an Oof. anvil, and a flame upon their palms. Now this is just becoming fetishistic. Uh, it's not great. Thank you for the bits, Evold. That's what I'm gonna call you. Salamanders are the most hardcore yet nice submarines. Yeah, they, they're the nice ones and they've got some crazy stuff. Ritual of ascension, they take the soon to be captain and strip him down to only his sash. He is then branded with a mark on his chest and shoulder as to signify his captainship. Then he Dang. is placed upon a platform in his undraped splendor and is subject to an extreme pillow like inferno launched from below that surrounds him for a few undraped seconds. Undraped splendor. The ritual is with the words, Ew. Vulcan's fire burns in my breast. With it I shall smite the foes of the emperor. They are taking that. Not wrong at all. Literally it seems. <laughs> Seriously. Is this troubling craving for flames a side effect of me placing them a bit too close to some candles when they were just little gene seeds in oh, the tube? No. Why do so many of my sons have such revolting compulsions? Oh my lord, it's not your fault. That is definitely correct. I never do anything wrong ever. He's perfect. Uh, well, well, anyway, even if they have such a blatant fixation with fire, <laughs> they are still one of your finest. They are a chat to that, despite their imposing looks, do an outstanding job. Thank you, oh my gosh, thank you for- Bro, look at all these bits. Thank you, the golden rule and evolved. We're, we're almost done. We only have seven more minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> There's, thank you for all the support. You guys are, you're, you're all, you're all amazing. Wow. And thank you. Uh, the, one true gamer. Uh, uh, everyone. Thank you for the bits. You're, you're awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy Terra is probably more accurate. All right. We, we can make this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. That must go superbly for them, considering their specialization with such short-range weaponry. The population is always grateful for it. One instance was that during the second war of Armageddon, when all the chapters involved were waging war on all different fronts, the Salamanders picked up the dangerously neglected task of handling supplies, escorting refugees, and helping the defenseless. In the battles upon the planet of Armageddon, the Salamanders fought for the planet's people and generally frowned upon the notion that the populace <laughs> of the Imperium were of no worth. These ideals. You're sending your bits to the wrong place. I'm I'm an ab human, not an Eldar. <laughs> Thanks, right? <laughs> were actually so strongly held by the Salamanders that their chapter master, Tushan, came blows with the first captain of a chapter known as the Marines Malevolent. The captain had early bombarded a refugee camp that had been ambushed by orcs, so he said that he didn't have time to waste on saving the civilians. 
This greatly angered Tushan and made the Marines Malevolent generally seem like total <coughs> arse clowns. Those Marines Malevolent seem to be suffering from GOG Evandire Syndrome. Seriously, who in their right mind openly names their chapter Malevolent? Nobody! The Marines Malevolent don't seem to have anything oh my gosh. right about them. Even their color scheme seems rather obnoxious. Bruh! It is like they took the salamander. There's so many colors. bits! <laughs> oh my gosh! I want to finish this video! <laughs> this is never gonna get done! This is never gonna get done, chat! <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for the bits. Oh my gosh. I'm very touched. <laughs> I. I, I Hey, I cried on stream the other day. <laughs> You'll take the word to YouTube, James. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Everyone's fighting everywhere now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. I really appreciate all your support. This has been this has been a roller coaster of a stream, but I really love it. This has been so much fun. Scheme and removed everything oh even gosh. remotely good about it. I will have to pencil in a virus bombing upon this abomination. <laughs> On a side note, it is a good thing Yo inserted the cement visualizer into the golden throne. It mm -hmm. makes exposition much easier. Agreed, yeah, it does, gosh. it does. Either way, I don't think you do see how the Salamanders are still one of your finest <laughs> in this regard. They stay true to their Primark and you in both code and manner. <laughs> Yes, but that is all absolutely I'm so fantastic. sorry. I'm no longer reacting to the video. I'm just reacting to chat. <laughs> Welcome to the Warhammer community where fighting is everywhere. That's on the YouTube side. There is only war. <laughs> is it my fault? I don't know. I mean, I... I, I, I told you, you didn't, need to, you didn't need to do any of that. I'm here to entertain and have fun. <laughs> So technically, no, not my fault. You brought this upon yourselves. <laughs> but I know you guys are really just hoping that I do a, a Fab Stodies model. Now I know why you're really into it. But there is just one problem. Pyrophy, my lord? Other yes. than that, at the beginning of this conversation, I actually asked Yo to provide evidence that the Ultramarines are greater than the Salamanders. Now Yo have just set them up to be creepy but nice guys with a thing for helping people. And fire. Oh. Um. Well, uh. That's a lot on minis. Thank you for the bits. All the salamanders? I want to say you are not proving a fucking thing, but I cannot say that without being wrong, and I am, of course, never wrong as already established. Well, my lord, the Ultramarines will most likely live long, eventually fading into legend with their deeds and self publicism. But the salamanders will continue to burn like a mighty flame in the hearts of the people whoa, they have whoa, defended. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It is better to burn out than to fade away. Yes, indeed, my lord. Yes, indeed. Seriously, though, next time I meet Vulcan, I am going to tell him to take his sons on a field trip to a freezing <laughs> cold ice planet for a couple of years so they can reorient their fucking perspective. <laughs> Life's not all fire and flames, am I right, my lord? No. Especially but in the wouldn't case that make it worse, though? Of... Like, wouldn't that wouldn't that make it worse if they're on an ice planet? They're like, oh, we want our fire more now because of this. I believe Man and his band of puppies are still sitting about trying to figure out how friction oh. works. Okay. Actually, Ghost should tell me At about their grunting tirades next. Uh, right, right. Well, of course, I no. Hmm. You must not speak of the wolves. Who dares suddenly interject things in my presence? Um... Oh look, it is my precious little century bubble. How is my sweetheart uh. doing today? Father, your sweetheart was... <gasps> Rogal Dole. Ah! What?! What?! Oh my gosh! And I was, I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> yes! We're bringing all the Primarchs back. Let's get the band back together. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. Ah! Lord Adornable. Yes! Ah! 
That's awesome. Someone said, and I don't know if this person is in the YouTube chat, they they said like, oh man, the second Primark on my Magnus video said, oh, the second Primark in TTS. And I was like, who's the first? And I was trying to think of like when another one would pop up and wow. Okay. Okay. What the heck? Oh my God. You're right, chat. This was this was the best. This I this was the right way to do it, to end to. Mm, I have the hiccups now. I, I was screaming so much. To end on this episode, yes, you were absolutely right. It wouldn't have been. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Ha! Oh. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! I'm so happy. Yes, yes. Now everyone can start making. <laughs> jokes about me and Dorn. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to check out my YouTube comment se section, I look at those and I will occasionally respond to comments and they're funny. <laughs> some people said some fun things about Dorn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I'm so, I'm so happy. This is, this is great. Fine. Finishing, finishing. Okay. Oh yeah, hmm. Boom. Dark Angels? My lord! Oh! Ah. Yes. What is it you want? You didn't hear anything, right? Not that we were... Oh, we were just like, whispering. We just like, we like snuggling up close and uh, whispering nice things into each other. So I like to I do that too. Israel. Is it the 30th turn to <laughs> stop? But you may wish to know we have pursued the most mysterious lead you wished us to follow. And we've once again found the lost strike cruiser. Dun dun dun. Your feet have got... Papers, papers, Israel, did you hear that? We're totally gonna find Cypher now! <laughs> oh! 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 Hey, you should calm down. Azrael, there's blood all over the floor now. <laughs> I, I really don't want to get that on my armor. It's all like, murky, probably stains easily. Well, we'll soon be making fall upon the planet oh, to which we've been led. Oh, Thank you, oh. dismissed. Oh, remember to close the door, but not too harshly. Yes, Lord Benayon. I won't close the automatic door too harshly. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just... Sass mouth me? Oh, you poor Got baby. Us. Deep shit now. If we don't find Cypher, the Inquisition will be after us for sure. They'll start noticing that mm. one of their Inquisitors are missing. Hey, we're not Supreme Grandmaster. We hid the corpse of that stupid Inquisitor in a place where no one uh. can find him. Hacked up his small dried up bits, put it into small packages, and donated his food rations to the death corpse of Kree. Do those Kree fellows even eat? I oh. don't know. We don't have time for this, Asmodei. Cypher and the Fallen are escaping further away from us the longer we linger. We have to- Excuse uh, me, my lord. Ah, no, you heard nothing. I mean, yes, you heard something, but it was certainly nothing suspicious. <laughs> Damn it, what do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but we have discovered sentient activity upon oh. the surface. What? Oh. No! I mean, yes! What is it? It appears to be the Adeptus Mechanicus. Oh, oh, oh. The Adeptus Mechanicus arrived on the planet before us? Oh, this is such a shameful moment. I, I, I'm totally useless. Nobody loves me. This, oh, okay, yeah. This can only mean one thing. One terrifying thing. Mm -hmm. This Mechanicus is working for the Fallen! Is that... really? My lord, why the Fallen? <gasps> Make him repent. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> there is it done now. Is it done? <laughs> Make him repent. 